During this lesson, we're going to talk about gas valves. Solenoid gas valves is the simplest of all the valves. It has a valve with an electrical magnetical coil which opens the valve when it's energized. The valve is designed with a seat and a valve disc. The valve is designed to, with the disc that lifts off the seat when the coil is energized. The solenoid valve is directional. There's a definite inlet and there's a definite outlet. Look on the side of the valve for the arrow that tells you which direction the gas should be flowing. The reason it's directional is the gas pressure helps hold the valve closed. If installed backwards, the gas pressure will tend to open the valve and you will have leakage. This is an example of a gas solenoid valve. Your gas inlet comes in under the disc and the valve disc is held down by the spring and the plunger. This, in this position, there's no electrical current thro flowing through the coil and the valve is closed. The solenoid valve can be operated also with a heat motor. A heat motor is constructed of bimetal wrapped with a heat wire. When voltage is applied to the heat wire, the bimetal warps and changes the position of the valve. This is a case where the gas has, the valve is now open, the current has been applied, the spring is compressed, and the gas is flowing through this valve. The next valve is the diaphragm gas valve. It's used when the large solenoid type would be an additional load. It's used when a quieter type valve is needed. The solenoid valves are noisy. The diaphragm valve is also a pilot operated valve. A small pilot solenoid valve opens and that controls the gas flow through the valve. As the, the diaphragm separates the inlet from the outlet of the valve and the de-energized pilot coil keeps the bleed valve closed. This is an example of a diaphragm gas valve. You'll see the main diaphragm in the center with a main valve on top of it. There's a the coil, you know, all it does is control a pilot valve. When the pilot valve is not energized, the gas pressure actually holds the main diaphragm down because it bleeds on top. Inlet gas pressure is allowed to bleed, build pressure on the top of the diaphragm and this keeps the valve closed. When the pilot coil energizes, the position of the bleed valve changes. The bleed valve is then opened and the gas flow to the top of the diaphragm is stopped. And this picture is showing the, what happens. Gas flow to the top of the gas diaphragm is stopped. Now, as the gas empties out of the bleed valve, the gas inlet pressure is now higher than the gas over the diaphragm and it will push the diaphragm open. The gas is bled to the pilot flame. The gas pressure now builds under the diaphragm and will open the main valve. When a call for heat stops, the pilot valve returns to its normal position. The bleed port is closed and the gas pressure starts building on the top of the diaphragm and the valve now closes. And we're back in closed position. The pilot valve can also be operated with a heat motor. It just takes a little bit longer. A heat motor, again, Two leads come in, wrap around an expanding rod, that's a bimetal rod, and as, it, as this rod gets heated, it actually increases pressure on the spring and the valve on the bottom, the valve disc, goes down and allows the gas to flow. This is a diaphragm gas valve with a heat motor in it. Again, you have your two bimetal filaments at the top with leads that form a coil of heat wire around the bleed, around the bimetal. As the bimetal expands, it pushes down on the pilot valve. Different applications have different types of valve based on speed of operation and pressures. Multi-stage units and direct ignition may use different valves than standing pilot valves. Instantaneous gas valves open immediately when energized. There is no delay. Primarily these are used in direct hot surface ignition applications where we need all the main gas fast. Instantaneous valves are not heat motor valves. They are solenoid valves. Slow opening valves close after a lapse of 1 to 30 seconds before being energized. They're used in larger spark ignition systems. Step opening opens at a reduced pressure and then steps up to full manifold pressures. Mostly these are used in gas fireplaces as well as some boilers. Sometimes you'll see these in unit heaters. It's primarily for safety. Combination valves combines 
other gas burner assemblies such as a pilot valve and a pilot safety valve inside one, one assembly. These are used in most older standing pilot systems and water heaters. They're also available in a redundant style. A redundant combination valve is a valve with two main gas valves in one body so that both valves open and close on every call for heat to assure shutdown in the event of a pilot or ignition failure. This is code in most areas. The components of an electronic gas valve, there is a pilot shutoff valve and safety reset lighting button, a main gas line shutoff, a pilot gas adjustment, a pilot pressure regulator adjustment, and a pilot gas connection. Thermocouple connections are also included as well as electrical terminals and inlet and outlet pressure taps. This is a picture of a combination gas valve. You'll see the main gas line shut off at the top, a pilot safety shut off valve or button next to it. On the back side of the valve, you'll have a thermocouple connection and an inlet pressure tap. You could have a press gas pressure regulator, you'll have adjustment electrical terminals, you'll have pilot gas connection, and you'll have pilot gas adjustments. You could also have an outlet gas pressure tap so you can see the pressure drop across the valve.